Okay, so here's a video for content creators. I do tabletop reviews and I shoot everything on my iPhone 5S. I think a lot of us are using our HD level cameras on our phones these days, but the microphones have not cut up with the camera technology and so a lot of us are looking to the aftermarket. And here are two very cheap options for effectively improving your audio on your iPhone or smartphone created YouTube content. What we have is the Tascam IM2, which is a stereo condenser microphone, and the Blue Ball, I mean the Blue Snowball, which is a plug and play USB microphone. My experience with these microphones is entirely for making YouTube videos in a tabletop format. They would certainly work for any kind of voiceover uh, in a similar style podcast, that kind of thing. But basically, I'm going to forego all of the technical specifications of these two microphones because they have been thoroughly reviewed in that respect in other YouTube videos. What I'm going to just cut to the chase to in this video is how they're working for my content creation. Both of these microphones can be easily had for under $50. The Blue Snowball can be found for around $40 new if you look around and the Tascam IM2 can be found for about $30 if you look around and both of them could be maybe even found for a little less if you are looking for them on sale. I actually got the IM2 for 20 bucks. With a iPhone 5S, you are going to need to use special adapters, the Apple Lightning to 30-pin adapter for the Tascam, and the Apple Lightning to camera USB adapter for the Blue Snowball. Both of those adapters retail for about 30 bucks on the Apple Store, but if you're smart, you can find both of them around 10 or 20 bucks, so that at the end of the day, you're looking at an under $50 iPhone audio rig that works pretty well. In case you've been wondering, I've been doing all the audio on this video on the blue microphone, but let's do a side-by-side -side to see how these two microphones compare. The Burial of the Dead. April is the cruelest month, reading lilacs out of the dead land, mixing memory and desire, stirring dull roots with spring rain. Winter kept us warm, covering earth in forgetful snow, feeding a little life with dry tubers. The Burial of the Dead April is the cruelest month, breeding lilacs out of the dead land, mixing memory and desire, stirring dull roots with spring rain. Winter kept us warm, covering earth in forgetful snow, feeding a little life with dry tubers. So did the blue snowball sound better or the Tascam IM2? I think the blue snowball sounds better to me. Okay, so in my opinion, the blue microphone just records the audio more loudly and also more articulately. It might not do as good of a job of filtering out background noise, but that's sometimes at the expense of the actual sound quality. Obviously, it's a much larger unit. It's freestanding. I only ever record in cardioid mode, and I'm sure the other settings would work differently. But basically, um, I find that the sound capture is uh, closer to real life and uh, requires less fiddling at the um, post-production stage to get all the audio levels consistently, which is really a big deal if you're putting in a lot of videos. You don't want to have to worry about your different cuts of audio being different volumes. And with a freestanding microphone, you can get right up on it pretty much the same distance every time and not have to worry, oh, am I holding the microphone correctly or whatever, which is something I am worrying about all the time with the Tascam. The obvious advantage of the IM2 is that it's portable and it's also very well built even though it's uh, much smaller and more lightweight compared to the blue obviously. I find that it does eliminate background noise pretty well so this is a good field mic for like maybe interviews or something but for my specific purpose of tabletop or podcasts I do think that it is quieter and it also is more prone to popping or aspirated plosives. Um, the blue really doesn't have that problem to the same degree. And again, there are different settings for the Tascam that uh, I'm not going to get into, but for basic tabletop reviews, uh, it, I find it just requires more fiddling in the post-production to get the sound even in every cut. So 
amongst these two good choices, I recommend just going ahead and getting the full freestanding microphone with the blue snowball. I find that the audio quality is a little bit richer and has more depth and uh, it's also more consistent. The packaging of both of these things are quality, but I do really like the all metal stand that the blue comes with. It's very nice. One little trick that you can do to improve the audio even more, just make an improvised pop filter with a nylon. As you can see that I've done here, just cut a hole in the back for that USB port, which by the way, that can come loose if you're not careful about unplugging it when you're moving the microphone around. So be smart about that. I want to thank everyone for watching. I invite you to comment and I really appreciate your subscription. Thanks a lot for watching.